doing? Dangerous. How are you? <laughs> Jeff Rocco, he just went in, that's Jeff Rocco right there, and he just went in the pits. You know, hindsight's 20 20, they're like, well, maybe we shouldn't have made that pit stop because then they wouldn't have been involved in that, but they wouldn't have been back on the field. I mean, you can't do anything now, but that's just the sucky thing about racing, yeah. Yes. You want to say hi? Say hi to him. Say hi. hi. You got the popcorn king over here? <laughs> Shriner. <laughs> Shriners. Yeah. Uh oh. Possible meltdown? Jackknife on the track. 
back, he was a roadblock, and there was nowhere for Janovic to go. Get out of my grill, dude. <laughs> Gonna get good. How is he the points? 
He hasn't raced a lot this year, so but he's, he's usually pretty. He'll he'll race Rocco hard for sure. Here we go. Eight laps to go. Let's bring it. Is it a car, Monahan or uh, Rocco? No good. No good. No good. Oh, oh, wow. No good. No good. No good. No good. No good. No good. What? What? Good job. Will restart again? Did you miss something? Absolutely not. The guy on the outside decided he was going to go before me. Question: <laughs> Rocco has a better car, but Sean has a good enough car to hold him off. It's just a matter of if he can do it. All right, here we go. before the day even started he wasn't giving the bottom up tonight and uh, he did a good job except that one yellow didn't come out that might have been our shot but uh you know a lot of a lot of fun being racing up front with uh sean and uh just wish we had a few more laps never long enough when you're having that much fun and next week you will be at riverhead for the wheel and modified tour race we're gonna miss you here next week yeah, I'm sure everybody else will. Okay, that's the word for the driver of car number 88, Keith Rocco. Uh, did you have anything left in the tank for Sean Monahan? Yeah, I, we had a good car, but I mean, Sean drove a real good race, and um, it was going to be really hard to get by him. He, uh, he's here for the win, you know. He's not here for anything else. I know he's here to win races, and uh, that's sweet right there. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think we had some form, but uh, just not enough time. And like I said, he ran a real good race in the lead. And, uh, you know, I had to worry about Keith for the whole time. We were side by side, so I couldn't really make too many big swoops. But, uh, you know, I'm really happy with the second. The, whole, the race was a long jam for the first half, and I didn't think we were going to go anywhere all night. So to finish second, I'm really, really pleased. I, I used Keith up in the corners. He was into me a little bit on the straightaways, crossing me up. That guy's a good driver. Uh, to hold him off tonight. It's just, it's a blessing to be down here. God is good all the time. It's been a very bad year for me so far. It's only been a few races. The pockets have been empty. But ladies and gentlemen, tonight, money in the checkbook. Okay. Well, I think that the last couple of weeks we uh, we had a crack head or head gasket or something. It was uh, it was not good. And we were coming out here and just kind of mediocre. And tonight when I showed up at the track, I surely did not think I'd be standing here talking to you. So this is a very exciting night. Well, who's more excited than